What's up guys, it's your casual gamer. So I have gotten a lot of requests over on Instagram to bring back my OBS setup guide from when this channel was called Stage. So I decided to bring it back as well as a few other videos. So here you go. All right guys, here we are at obsproject.com. The link to this page will be in the description below. Once you're here, you can download this for Windows, Mac, or Linux. Since I'm on Windows, I'm gonna select Windows and your download should start. Once it's finished, let's come up to the top right, click on the three little dots, select downloads, show in folder, we can exit out of the browser, and let's drag our OBS Studio installer to the desktop. Exit out. Now let's open OBS. You can't see my screen right now because my user account control came up, do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes. Welcome to the setup. Next. You can read through this if you would like. Next. Now choose where you would like to install OBS. And if you check right here, it will show the space required and the space available on whatever drive you have selected. Right now it's on my C drive. You can hit browse and you can install this on your SSD, your hard drive, external hard drive, wherever you would like. I'm fine with my C drive, install, and finish. Now we are in OBS. Let's take a look at the bottom right. Under controls, we have start streaming. This is what you will press if you're ready to start streaming to YouTube, Twitch, Facebook, whatever platform you're using. We have start recording. This allows you to start recording video. We have start virtual camera. This allows OBS to register a webcam device so that it can be used with video conference software. Studio mode. This allows you to change your scenes in the background without your viewers being able to see you making those changes. That's a little more advanced and for another video. We have settings and we have exit. Let's go ahead and select settings. Under general, you can change the language, you can change the theme of OBS, just to give you guys an example of what one of them looks like, here you are, but I prefer to keep mine on the dark default. Now, for the rest of this stuff, I suggest if you're a beginner in OBS, leave everything else at default settings. Let's go down to stream, so you can select the service you're going to be streaming from. You have Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and if you select show all, you will get more options. Now something that's super important, you have to come down here to use stream key. And what the stream key is, is the key from one of those platforms that will let OBS know what channel you are streaming from. Now if you need to find your stream key on YouTube, it will be in the encoder setup section. If you need your key on Twitch, it will be in the preference menu. And if you're on Facebook, click on publishing tools, then videos, and then click plus live. And also a quick note, never share or let anyone see your stream key because if they do, they will be able to stream from your channel. Let's go to output. Let's change the output mode from simple to advanced. Now the first settings we're dealing with are streaming. Let's change the encoder to NVENC. This will give you better performance. For rate control, leave it at CBR. For the bit rate, this can be a little confusing because the bit rate is determined by your internet speed. And if you're not sure how fast your internet connection is, there is a site called speedtest.net. I will have this link in the description below. This will tell you your download and your upload speed. And remember, when you're streaming, your upload speed is the most important. Over at Twitch, they have a bitrate guide that will help you with NVENC and 264 specs. For an example, if you want to stream at 1080p 60 frames per second, then you need to have your bitrate at 6000 and your B frames at 2. If you want to stream at 720p 30 frames, you need to have your bitrate at 3000, B frames at 2. And I will also have the link to this page in the description below. For the keyframe interval, you want to change this to 2. The preset, leave it at quality. Unless you have super fast internet, then you can change it to performance, but it's not necessary. Profile, high, make sure look ahead is unchecked. Cycle visual tuning, check. GPU zero and max B frames, two. Now let's go over to recording. We're gonna leave our type on standard. 
for the recording path. This is where your video recording files are gonna be saved once you hit that stop recording button. So if you don't want your recorded videos to be saved to your C drive, go ahead and select browse and select wherever you would like for your recorded videos to be saved. For the recording format, we're gonna change this to MP4. MP4 files are just easier to edit during the video editing process. Audio track, leave it at one. For the encoder, we're gonna change this to NVENC. Now something I forgot to mention when we was doing the streaming was if you have a NVIDIA's graphics card in your PC, you wanna make sure that you're using an encoder as NVENC. If you have an AMD graphics card, you wanna use 264. Leave the rate control as CBR, but I'm gonna change the bit rate to 16,000. Now the reason I did that it's because when I record my video, I'm gonna be recording at 1080p, 60 frames per second. If it looks like your recorded footage is lagging, then just go ahead and lower this bitrate number. Keyframe interval, we're gonna change this to two. Preset, I'm gonna leave it on quality, but if you know you got a super powerful PC, you can go ahead and change this to max. But if it looks like, once again, the recorded footage is lagging, just go ahead and downscale it back to quality. Profile, leave it at high. Make sure look ahead is unchecked and make sure psycho visual tuning is checked. GPU zero, max B frames two. Let's go up to audio. We're gonna leave all of these at 160 even though we're only using track one. Replay buffer, make sure this is unchecked. Let's go down to audio. The only thing we need to change here is on channels. We need to change this from stereo to mono. That way, if you're streaming or you're recording video, the sound won't only be coming through one speaker, but it will actually come through both speakers. And we got a little message at the bottom. The program must be restarted for these settings to take effect. Go ahead and hit apply. Okay. And now it's saying, do you want to restart now? Yes. For video, the base resolution, I'm gonna leave at 1920 by 1080. Output resolution, I'm going to bump this up to 1920 by 1080 if I'm recording the video. Now, if you're streaming, you may want to lower the bass and the output to 720. Downscale filter, I'm going to leave that on by cubic. Now, the common FPS, I'm going to up this to 60 if I'm recording video. Now, once again, if you're streaming, you may want to lower the FPS to 30. Now, let's go to hotkeys. Now when you're just getting started with OBS, the most important hotkeys you wanna have set will be start streaming. We can do that as F1, stop streaming, F2, start recording, F3, stop recording, F4, pause recording, F5, and unpause, F6. Something else that's important will be scenes. Now I haven't showed you guys how to set up scenes yet, but once I do, you can come back here and set up different hotkeys for different scenes, so you can switch between scenes pretty fast. Something else you can play with is the desktop audio and the mic. Now let's move down to advance, and we're pretty much gonna leave everything preset here. Everything is good. Now you wanna come down to apply and okay, and all of your settings should be saved. Now let's create some scenes. If you come to the bottom left, you'll see scenes. You want to right click inside of this box and select add. Now we can leave this scene as name scene two, or we can rename it. I'm going to rename it to webcam. This can be our webcam scene. Let's create one more. Right click, add, and I'm going to call this one in stream. Okay. Now, the scene that was already there, we're gonna rename this. So let's right click, and you wanna go up to rename. And we're gonna call this one desktop. Now let's go back to settings. Let's go back down to hotkeys, scroll down. And now we have three scenes in here, desktop, in stream, and webcam. So I'll make the desktop scene F7, the in stream F8 and we can do the webcam as numlock apply okay now let's add some sources to our scenes 
let's start with the desktop scene so go ahead and click on it and then you want to right click in the source box select add and then go to display capture okay now if you have multiple monitors you will be able to select which monitor you want to capture by clicking on this little drop down arrow I only have two so I'm gonna select display two okay now let's go to webcam right click in the source box add and you want to go to video capture device okay I'm using a Logitech C920 webcam let's go to configure video and we're gonna turn off the white balance so uncheck that go to camera control we're gonna turn off focus and we're gonna turn off exposure apply okay now let's go to resolution FPS type we're gonna go custom go to resolution and we're gonna change this to 1920 by 1080 okay now let's go to end screen and this is gonna be our in stream screen and if you have an animated overlay or just an animated in screen or anything you want to drag in here you just drag it in and drop it and you can grab the corners of it and size it up now let's go back to the webcam scene and I'm gonna show you guys how you can put your webcam as an overlay over your desktop so when you're here all you want to do is right click go to copy let's go back to the desktop scene we can right click here and you want to go to paste reference we can shrink this move it to position and if you have an animated or a regular border you can just drag that in and drop it resize the webcam border get this so it fits And you can move it wherever you like. I'm gonna slide this over a little bit. There you go, that'll work. Now, there we go, we have all three scenes set up. Now let's go through them. We can use our hotkeys to scroll through. So right now we're on our desktop scene. Just our webcam. And our end screen. Now let's move over to the auto mixer. And let's start with the desktop audio. You can lower it, raise it, mute it, unmute it, and if you don't hear your desktop audio coming through OBS, click on the little gear icon, go to properties, select the drop down arrow, and you can select where your audio may be coming from. Like let's say you have on headphones and your audio is coming through your headphones. You want to select your headphones here. If it's coming through your computer speakers, you want to select your computer speakers here. Okay? And then we have our mic, same thing. You can lower it, raise it, mute it, unmute it. Now let's say your audio is coming through your webcam instead of your microphone. Same thing, click on the gear icon, go to properties, drop down, and select where you want your audio coming from. So you can select your microphone from here. Okay. So that is all the basic stuff you need to know to get you started with OBS for streaming and recording. I will have more tutorials coming soon on stuff such as custom transactions, better webcam settings, how to use a DSLR as a webcam, and how to green screen. Those videos will be coming in the future. As of right now, this should help get started with OBS. I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.